My name is Keisha B. Warner. I'm the principal of John B. Drake Elementary School. It is located in the Brownsville community, which is in the Burnham Park Elementary School Network. My name is Vicki Claros, principal of Manuel Perez Junior Elementary School, uh, located in the Pilsen neighborhood um, in the Pilsen Little Village Network. My name is Hattie King. I'm the principal of Cather Elementary School, and we're located in Chicago's East Garfield Park area. We're part of the Garfield Network. My name is Minnie Watson. Uh, I am the principal of Oscar DePriest. We're in the Austin North Lawndale Network. I am Tara Shelton. I am the principal of South Loop School. We're in the Burnham Park um, Network, and we're at the far south side. My name is Nick Gaines. I'm principal at Burke Elementary School here in the Washington Park neighborhood of Chicago. Um, Burke Elementary School is in the Burnham Park School Network and CPS. This is our second year with the In Search of Genius Science program. We started last year as an after school program with only our fourth graders, and this year we were able to expand it to our third and fourth graders during the school day, and now our fifth graders continued it in the after school program, and it has been a welcome addition to our school. This is the second year we've had uh, In Search of Genius, and it actually has exceeded my expectations. We've had the program for uh, three years. This is our third year. Um, and yeah, it has met and surpassed our expectations. It is um, a wonderful um, program in, that involves the students um, in hands-on experiments and um, gives them exposure to the science concepts that they wouldn't normally get during the regular school day. This is our third year and it has exceeded my expectation. The collaboration that we have with the In Search of Genius directors and the resources and just the tools that are provided to the students have just been overwhelming and outstanding. It's a great collaboration with our vision and goal for our science program where we would like to see our kids as we lead into this century of um, exploring science and making sure that we, our kids experience hands-on science to the best of their ability. The In Search of Genius program has been at our school for three years now and it has more than uh, met our expectations. Uh, our students have been just uh, tremendously excited about being part of the program. We've had In Search of Genius for two years now, um, and In Search of Genius has definitely met our expectations for providing quality, hands-on science experiences for our students. The need in Search of Genius uh, field at our school was the need for more hands-on projects and to make science um, more real. In Search of Genius allow the children to see how science is used in the everyday world. And that's very critical. In Search of Genius provides us additional resources, time, um, and personnel to meet those needs of setting up quality, um, hands-on, project-based learning experiences in science for our kids. It expands on the program that we currently have, so it gives students additional resource, it gives them a more in-depth understanding about science, it gives them science from a different perspective because it's such so hands-on and it's coming from someone outside the community coming to the school that works with our school so the kids can understand that what they're learning in the classroom extends out into the real world. It gives the time for the hands-on inquiry-based science experiments that we don't have time for in the traditional school day. Um, it exposes, it, it gets students excited about science and I think that's very critical in them learning the concepts. Our students here at Drake love the In Search of Genius Science program. Our fourth graders from last year in particular were very happy to continue it after school this year and our current third graders and fourth graders look forward to it every morning. Uh, one has it on Tuesday and the other classroom has it on Wednesday. They're very excited to attend the science program. This year when we uh, started to select children, we had more children than we had spots and that was a direct reflection on what the children were seeing the other children doing in the program. Students are definitely very excited about the program. Um, a lot of the students that are most engaged are those that aren't engaged during normal instruction as much. And the reason they're so excited or so engaged in the program, I think is because it approaches science from a different 
um, a different modality than what traditional classroom-based instruction does. It's a high demand. I mean, if, if half the third, fourth, and fifth graders can t uh, participate in the program, they would. I think that the only downside is that we have to limit the, the enrollment, and so the kids are just, you know, waiting for their year to get in, have the opportunity to participate in the program. It's just one of our best partnerships. They're very excited. The program is fun. It makes science and learning fun for them, and I think that uh, brings just, I, uh, an air of excitement um, to the entire day when it's In Search of Genius Day, which is Monday here. Um, and what they do like is that hands-on component. I think that's where they get most of their learning in science from that hands-on component. Oh, our students are extremely excited about the program. They can't wait every year until the program starts up again. As a matter of fact, in August, sometimes I have kids coming to me saying, are we gonna have In Search of Genius? Can, can I be in it again? this year uh, and it's just wonderful to have that kind of excitement going and I think uh, much of it has to do with the fact that uh, you know it's very engaging it's very hands-on it's so much fun the kids don't uh, um, often don't realize you know the amount of learning that's really taking place Justin is our uh, mentor at Perez. Uh, he is a critical part of the program's success. He works really well with our teacher uh, from, from the school who um, is sponsoring the program. Uh, they have a great, uh, they collaborate wonderfully together to plan um, all these inquiry-based uh, hands-on experiments. And the students look forward to seeing him every week. I mean, he has really become a part of our family and our faculty. When you have someone who comes in who is uh, has a specialty in science, it allows for a kind of hands-on um, learning experience for my teacher. You know, they're bringing in new ideas because we're not constantly in school. So the, the college kids or the, the, um, the teachers who are leading the science program are bringing in ideas that are fresh and exciting that we can also utilize. The fact that she was a young African-American woman um, who is from an urban environment who went to Chicago Public Schools. She was truly a mentor to the children because they looked at her as they saw possibility. They saw that if she can do it, they could do it too. And also she came with so much knowledge and just enthusiasm. And she is right there, you know, breaking down the projects with them, explaining them, talking to them. Our science mentor has been a great asset to our school, not only during the Insert of Genius time, but just as a, a positive role model for our students. And we can tell that students um, are positively impacted by our mentor because whenever he may not be here, they ask for him by name, where is he? Um, at the science competition last year, um, it was great to see the kids so super excited and, and motivated around one person's leadership. Our science mentor's name is Richard and he has been with us for both years. He started last year with our after school program and continues on this year with the in school and the after school component and our students love Richard. I think that he's able as a university student to really connect with our students, they relate to him and he keeps them engaged in the In Search of Genius Science lessons. When we first started the program, our fourth graders, uh, the year after we started the program, they tested in the 40th percentile. Uh, the following year, they were up near 67. And then this year, we're expecting great things. Um, I tutored many of our fourth, fourth grade students as well. And they were even telling me different strategies and techniques that they learned from the In Search of Genius program. We have seen our scores on the ISAT since we have had the um, In Search of Genius program in our fourth grade um, increase. Uh, just this past year increased 4.4% to um, 80, 89.6, I believe, is where we're at right now. Um, however, if you look at our ELL population over just the past year, increased 10%. So it has made a, a significant impact on our um, ISAT test scores. It has already met the bar for ISAT. Um, it kind of superseded it. You know, our scores are currently, I think, if I'm mistaken, at 92% in, in science, which this is a component of it for um, the last three years. So it supports where we want our kids to be in the future of um, um, state standard testing. If you know anything about our school, our science, I said, was one thing that was keeping us off AYP. Um, previously, 
last year, our, our science was in the low 30 percentile. Um, first year after In Search of Genius, we were over 50%. I think that it's great to have In Search of Genius focused on the Illinois standards for the science program, being that our fourth grade students and our seventh grade students do take science on the ISAT test. It's nice to have that additional period of science to emphasize those standards. Most importantly, a, a high level of engagement and motivation. Um, especially, like I mentioned before, those students that maybe struggle in the classroom or aren't as interested in, in the classroom, In Search of Genius has provided um, a motivation and interest um, in those students that we, we haven't seen before. Um, and we see improvements in science test scores. Now I notice that my younger students are, don't have as much anxiety about learning science. They don't feel as fearful about the content. Particularly our third graders, we're hoping to next year see them as fourth graders do really well on the ISAT science because they'll have more background knowledge and they'll have more hands-on learning experiences due to the In Search of Genius program. Uh, the opportunity to develop a love for science. Uh, to me, that's key uh, because Everything is just kind of science and inquiry based, uh, you know, in the first place. So when we can have our students really be excited about that, that's half the battle. When we can focus on the standards and deepen their understanding, their content knowledge of science, that's the other half of the battle. So we've seen our scores go up as well as seeing our students develop a greater love for science. I think a love of science and a love of learning um, and it, I, it's an excitement that I had never seen before around the subject and the core curriculum of science. Um, doing hands-on, uh, inquiry-based, and experiments um, is definitely the way to really grab the students um, and get them to love science. Most of our parents here, uh, they they realized that the school day being shorter, uh, they didn't really hear their students talk about science. And now their children come home and they're talking about the engaging experience that they had during the school day. The children are the ones who brought our parents over because they went home and were talking about the program. Uh, the program is after school and the children don't have to stay, but they want to stay. And so when parents see that the children are interested in something, they get interested. Anytime they see that our students are moving up in terms of their academic progress, they get very excited about that. Uh, when their students are asking them about going on the end of the year field trip and about staying after school and to be a part of the program and they see that excitement then they come up and they ask us you know what what's the program about and so they're excited about it as well. Very positive. Um, a lot of positive comments, a lot of um, appreciation for their child being selected for the program. The end of year science program I think is a very, very well done, um, very well organized event. Um, it's at a, a great scale, um, you know, a citywide competition is something that a lot of kids don't get the opportunity to do, um, particularly at the elementary school level. So to have that sort of exposure, to see lots of other kids motivated and interested around the same sorts of things, um, and to have that grand experience is, is a wonderful thing for our students. It was just, it was just, I can't even describe the the excitement that was in the room. Um, I saw my kids and they were uh, running, it was almost like a relay race, but it was a science activity. Um, just the enthusiasm with all the, the, the children there, the competition, it was academic competition, not sports competition. I really had never seen anything like that. Um, I thought it was great. I really did. Our students are very excited about the inter-school competition. I think that it is their chance to like show their stuff and our students love to do that. They love to be comp competitive and I think they're looking forward to the competition. That's a big thing for our students. Uh, they look very much forward to that. Uh, the competition, you know, our kids love competition. Uh, and so they put their all into it and every year they're just waiting until that time comes along when they can participate again.